I'm a salmon biologist. I'm a RP Bio in BC, and I, I work for the Ray Coast Conservation Foundation. Um, or in the Lower Fraser River, I'm our uh, research and restoration coordinator. This is really just something I kind of do as a volunteer in my free time. I was already attending the festival and I felt like it would be good if there was a bit more information about salmon in the river getting passed along to the other attendees who aren't professional biologists like myself. And I work on Chinook salmon and that's kind of the main species here. So yeah, back in 2019, I just applied uh, to give a workshop. My partner Megan, she is a amphibian specialist. Uh, she's doing her master's right now at UBC. And so the second year we decided to combine forces, talk about salmon and frogs. And then just this year actually, uh, Raincoat started doing more work with the Lower Nickel Indian Band. And that's how we uh, linked up with Jared and got to actually have uh, a local uh, part of our workshop this year, which was amazing. What is something that people don't know about salmon? I think, you know, in particular, people don't realize that Chinook have to spend a whole year in freshwater before they go to the ocean. So people think in the spring they just go to the ocean and then there's nobody around in the summer, but they actually have to stay here for the whole summer and then leave in their next year. So they're always in the river basically between eggs or little fry or adults. They're always present in these river systems. Festival goers, how can they help out the salmon in the river here? Yeah, I think you know everyone can just make sure, especially just not to take any chemicals into the water, no sunscreen, uh, no other chemicals like that, and just be respectful when you're walking in the river. Like, you know, everyone's gonna have to cool off in the river at some point, but yeah, just make sure you're not taking your shampoo, sunscreen, soap into the river, and you know, don't move too many rocks around, and respect the riparian vegetation. So respect the trees alongside of the river because they're really important. Wow. Cool. And for our main audience and demographic, uh, once this festival's over, what can residents of Merritt and the Nicola Valley, who are here year-round, not just during the summer, to cooling down, what can they do to help the salmon? Yeah, I mean, the local residents, uh, they're the ones who are on the ground here. So I'm sure there's local stewardship groups that work on the river. Uh, you can support the local First Nations in their work. And just push your, you know, your uh, local council, your uh, provincial representatives to put in measures that conserve water. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's all about getting the, the provincial government to regulate our water, our forests in a way that's good for salmon instead of just good for industry. Is there anything that you'd like to add, Dave? Uh, no, just really happy to be here and glad that people are, you know, interested in our salmon populations. Cool. And um, my last question, I like to end all of my interviews with this type of question. What's a fun fact about salmon? Any fun fact? A fun fact about salmon? I think people don't realize, like, the amount of nutrients that they bring from the ocean. So they're like this nutrient pump where they go to the ocean this big and then they collect all this nitrogen and phosphorus. So instead of spending money on fertilizer, if we just restore salmon, we'll have all these nutrients back in our system that we're losing by not having those salmon. So instead of buying expensive fertilizer, just bring back salmon and it brings fertilizer with it.